Where is the real estate market headed in Northern Virginia at the end of 2021? Welcome back. Now, you ask, where are we going in the real estate market at the end of 2021? And I will tell you, and before I tell you, I have to encourage for you to understand that for us to answer that question, we've got to look back three years, which is the, the start of this cycle of what we're in right now. And that's unique to Northern Virginia. So what happened three years ago, January, 2018? Do you know what happened? That's right, Amazon announced that they're coming to Crystal City. I gave, I gave a, a pregnant pause there to give you a chance to be able to answer the question. And so um, January, 2018, Amazon announced that their second headquarters coming to, to Northern Virginia. As a result, and as a, a result of the anticipated Amazon effect, there was about 35% less homes placed on the market all the way through 2018, all the way through 2019. And the closer that you got to Crystal City, the greater that the impact was. Old Town, Alexandria, all the surrounding areas of where, uh, of where Amazon's gonna have their second location. So we thought the real estate professionals were predicting that in March of 2020 in Northern Virginia, that inventory, the homes that would have normally sold in 2017, 16, and before that did not sell in 2018 and 19 would be placed on the market in the spring cycle of March, 2020. So we were anticipating that the market would flatten at that point. Well, what none of us could predict was a pandemic. So March, 2020, around that time period was when the NBA said, hey, we're canceling the season. And I don't know about for you, but that was the day where I was like, oh man, this is for real. And so I, the society started realizing and say, okay, we started realizing, okay, this is for real and, and, and whether, you know, this is not great. And so the real estate market responded March, April, and May of 2020, where there was an additional 35% less inventory on uh, below that 35% less inventory and 35% less demand. That remained March, April, and May of 2020 until the buyers came out of the woodworks in June of 2020. And then there was a gap that caused, a gap between the buyers and the sellers of uh, demand and supply that caused the prices to escalate through that time period. Prices actually went up in many areas of Northern Virginia by double digits. And so that brings us to where we are today. Where we are today, as we get into the end of the year 2021, is first of all, interest rates remain at an all time low. All right, we'll talk more about that here in a second. Secondly, that differential between the demand, between the supply and the buyers has shrunk. It's still in the seller's favor. It's just not in the seller's favor as advantageous as it was in the beginning in the middle of the year. Today, it looks like this where um, it's still again in the seller's day. So other things to consider is that, as I mentioned, the interest rates remain at an all time low. So what that means for buyers is that even though prices have gone up, interest rates have gone down. And when you take the, um, the total equation of buying a home, there's two factors to it. The second factor, I don't hear a lot of buyers really even talking about it or realizing it, which is the interest rates, the cost of the loan. So when interest rates go down and prices go up, the affordability balances itself out. So for buyers, you're in a little bit of a less uh, good position than you were 18 months ago, but you're still not in a bad position because of the interest rates. For sellers, you're in a great position because of the prices, okay? Because you're selling and, and you're cashing out. Now, if you're re if you're moving into a new a home, you know a sale and a purchase, then it's going to depend on your exact scenario whether that's good or bad at the end of the day. Most likely, it's going to be a wash. It could benefit you depending on the price that you're selling and the price that you're buying, because it could be two different markets. And you probably you may or may not know this, but in Northern Virginia, there are so many different micro markets that in Reston, it's a different market than Falls Church, different market than Alexandria, et cetera. And so 
if you are moving to the Northern Virginia area, and if you would like to uh, have some questions answered about where you're considering to, to, to live, I'd be happy to answer your questions. I've been selling homes here locally in Northern Virginia since late 2007. There is not a nook or cranny that I don't know. So give me a call, send me a text. You can get me day, you can get me night, you can get me weekdays, weekends, send me an email. I've got your back and I'm happy to answer your questions. Oh,